Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for October 2022. This is a general reading for Libra. Cross watchers are also welcome. Keep in mind that the roles of the individuals or energies identified in this reading may be swapped and the intensity of the energy or situation may vary. So take with you whatever resonates and leave behind for others whatever does not. We are going to go ahead and start with this Celtic Cross reading and close off with an Oracle card message. So Libra, seems like you've got a lot of great cards. The current situation, you have the Fool. What crosses is the Ten of Cups. Above you, you have the King of Cups. Below you, you have the full moon. In this deck, it's the full moon, otherwise known as the sun. In your past, you have Queen of Cups. In your near future, you have the Page of Cups. Your current attitude is the Seven of Wands. In your environment, you have the Ace of Pentacles. In your hopes and fears, you have the Knight of Wands. Your outcome, you have the Chariot, which is, I believe, a solar eclipse. Or is it a lunar eclipse in this deck? It's an eclipse. So, Libra right here, you have um, the Fool is the current situation, some type of... Um, new endeavor it's crossed by the ten of cups so a sense of uh, emotional support in the past with a queen of cups there is there's definitely a you know we're just missing the knight of cups but you've got pretty much the court cup family so a lot of emotions going on plus the the ten of cups um what's Above you with the King of Cups could be a focus of someone that you are, you know, either already know or wanting to, to meet, to have come into your life. Um, with the sun in this position here, what's below you, it's uh, a sense of joy, happiness, um, and similar to the full concept of, uh, you know, really opening your your heart and your mind to the experiences going on around you. With the Seven of Wands being your attitude here, it's a, a sense of really um, having an inner conviction about something. Um, it's typically like a, a stand, your, stand your ground, um, inner knowing that you are going to abdicate for. In your environment with the Ace of Pentacles, it could be that there are a lot of opportunities surrounding you, um, a lot of uh, new endeavors that are available for you. The Knight of Wands being in your hopes and fears, um, you know, we'll take a look at that when we clarify the cards. Um, in terms of the fact that you've got these, you know, um, cup cards and then you have this Knight of Wands, uh, Knight of Wands follows their heart. They also... Um, they also follow their passions. It may be that it's a little bit more, I don't know, fleeting or uh, more the in it for the chase than possibly the Knight of Cups, which isn't here. The Page of Cups is here, which is in your near future. And with the Page of Cups, um, it's some type of you know, imagination, creativity, similar to the fool of 
um, potential, seeing potential in something, kind of um, not putting any limits on it. And with the outcome being the chariot, there is definitely um, a path to victory. Chariot is the seventh card of the ma major arcana, and your attitude is the seven of wands, having that inner conviction. So those two um, may tie together. So Libra, let's go ahead and take a look at this Queen of Cups in your past position. You have the Six of Ghosts or the Six of Cups. So here in your past with the Queen of Cups, this could be you um, thinking about some aspects of your past, the things that may be happy, made you happy. This also could be, um, you know, maybe you spending time with your mother. Um, I just spent some time with my mother. I'm a Libra. She's a Libra. So, but there's a, a lot of kind of emotions, nurturing, um, and, you know, remember those times, thinking of uh, the good old days. Let's take a look at the King of Cups above you, Libra. You have the moon. So here, this King of Cups, um, it's as if that's, a, you know, the focus of what you're looking for in terms of either your your ability to really um, be supportive of others, nurturing and uh, caring, but also not allow other people's drama or, um, you know, uh, sadness to overcome you. Um, with the moon, there is a sense of being in touch with your emotions, being in touch with your intuition, and really needing to uh, pursue a certain path. But there might be some um, obstacles if you have self-doubt uh, and fears, but it doesn't seem to be showing up. So it, it may be, for some of you, Libra, it's a like the focus of a king of cups type of person to be in your life um, or it is your focus for yourself. So let's take a look at the, the fool here, which is the current situation. Some type of leap of faith, new beginning. You have the four of cups or forest of ghosts. So it may be that you had been um, previously not really aware of what there was being offered to you, if it was a, a new opportunity or just a new attitude to have. Um, but you are kind of now, now in that place of um, embracing what's, you know, being offered to you by a person or by your life situations. So let's take a look at the Ten of Cups. You have the Three of Ghosts or Three of Cups. So there's a sense of really like celebrations. It could be, you know, um, it's Libra season and celebrating birthdays. That's why I was spending time with my mom is celebrating her birthday. So it could be, you know, spending time with your family, friends, um, and celebrating, you know, you. Celebrating them. Let's take a look at the full moon or the sun below you. You have the three of imps or the three of wands. So there is a sense of really um, expanding this sense of joy, happiness. It's almost this, um, a concept of, well, I know I was like, not me, but in general, if, if you're thinking, oh, um, you know, a few couple weeks ago, I was 
feeling a little bit blah, but you know, this happened and now I'm feeling like it's really that change of pace or just going out and um, uh, taking a walk or doing some gardening really refreshed me. And now I, I want to kind of share how easy this can be or how amazing this can be with everyone. Um, so almost like infecting people with joy <laughs> type of thing. So let's see what's going on with the Seven of Wands. You have the Two of Bats or the Two of Swords here. So your attitude here is um, even, it's almost a sense of it doesn't matter what the choices are. You know what needs to be done. Um, you know what you are, like what your priorities are right now, where you're putting in your efforts. So um, it's a, a sense of if there's not a choice or decision being made, that is intended to be your decision. Let's take a look at the Ace of Pentacles in your environment. You have the Lovers. So in your environment, um, these opportunities that surround you, it could be um, a new romantic potential. It could be a new job. It could be any kind of um, opportunity where it could really change your life. You know, looking at the long-term, the long-term outcome of whatever these opportunities are, um, new friendships, whatever they are, it's really the potential um, is there to be life-changing. So let's see what the Knight of Wands is about in your hopes and fears, Libra. You have the Empress. So, you know, in terms of your hopes and fears, it's it seems like it's just all kind of just this whole spread so far is just hopeful. Um, with the Knight of Wands, a sense of really maybe even um, not pushing this um, full energy, but really pursuing um, that spark, that uh, spark of life, that joy like the full, but with the Knight of Wands, like just knowing that if you follow that spark, if you follow that joy and happiness, there's always going to be, um, there's always going to be there something for you to um, enjoy in the sense of you can, um, let's say you, you go on a walk and you don't bring a, you know, a water bottle and then someone happens to, um, you know, offer you a bottle of water on the way. Or it's, it's a sense of like the universe is taking care of you. Whatever it is that you're pursuing, um, there will be enough for you. It's like this abundant mindset, um, being able to... Um, be creative, imaginative, um, and really just pursuing your joy and almost like there's there's not, you won't experience lack in anything. It'll just be that appreciation of what's there and um, you'll find that there is going to be a lot along the way, which brings us to the Page of Cups, which is is that kind of sense of imagination and creativity of, um, you know, opening your arms to life and whatever it brings your way and thinking that anything is possible. So you have the Knight of Imps or the Knight of Wands right here. So again, it's like this feeling of positivity emotions is just... Um, blowing up your October, Libra. So let's take a look at the chariot here. 
you have the eight of bats, which is the eight of swords. And it is a mindset of being like restricted, being uh, being unable to really accomplish anything and feeling like your hands are tied behind your back and you're just held hostage to a situation. Um, but with Libras um, being associated with the element of air and thought, it's interesting that there's the two of swords and the eight of swords here, which are really the only swords um, in this in this spread. And it's almost a sense of you know that there is potential for you to be um, indecisive or um, kind of perfectionistic to a, a way of not really liking any options. But that's just something to be, you know, just to be aware of because otherwise it seems that your October is really about embracing this uh, sense of happiness, joy, connections with the people that you're you care about and really um, knowing that if there are obstacles or a sense of lack that you might experience along the way, it has to do with your sense of bringing in those thoughts, um, those fears, and just to be aware of it. So Libra, I'm going to pull an oracle card for a message from your higher self about tricks and treats to be mindful of this month. You have zombie control. So here, Libra, it's a sense of knowing that you have the ability to kind of shape things the way that you want to. You can't control everything, but um, if you have this um, ability to focus on the positive aspects and share that with others and have that, you know, that positivity and joy infect others and, you know, any types of, uh, overwhelming thoughts or irrational fears kind of popping up and knowing that they'll be there here, here and there and kind of recognizing that those aren't rational. Let's focus on what, you know, the, the silver lining of any situation. Um, then this aspect of, of control, it's, it is in a sense, um, a perspective, a, a state of, of mind, but you can choose to focus on the positive, or you can choose to focus on the not so positive. And this month appears to be the positive focus for you. And I'm gonna pull one more card here to kind of take a look at, you know, just different perspectives. So you have dry and you have what? So here, these are just opposites. And um, these are significant opposites, but in a sense, what can be dry? Um, it could be that, you know, you put, uh, what is it called? It's almost a sense of air and water for me. Um, and it may be that this four of cups here um, was your your water being stagnant or drying up. Um, but this pretty much seems like a really good month for you. And I am hoping this provides a helpful perspective of October. To find out more about your month, check out readings for each of your sun, moon, and rising signs. We'll see you next time and take care.